Barb's Country Home. Okay, so what do we dig up on Barb's Country Home? Barb loves country living, and she shares excerpts of her Texas life with us in YouTube land. Barb's Country Home features gardening with the various techniques that work for her over in that tropical storm alley they call South Texas. <laughs> One of the joys of living in the wider opener spaces, yep, opener's word, it's being able to create hugel culture beds and play in the dirt. Lots of playing in the dirt. There's a lot happening on Barb's Country Home with the chickens also. And they've done some really awesome work with the chicken coop and their free range effort. That That's Barb and her family, not the chickens. The chickens didn't build the coop. <laughs> Hey girls, I love bean sprouts too. Speaking of food, there are some country cooking recipes on Barb's Country Home. So check those out. If you like southern living full of sunshine and Texas charm and lively chickens, check out Barb's Country Home. My Swiss Garden. All the way over in Heidi Land, Jermaine began documenting her gardening journey on YouTube five months ago. Isn't it always so cold in Switzerland that all you can grow is hair? Well, except for that one family. Well, apparently you can grow things in Switzerland. And my Swiss garden is full of all the same types of gardening fancies as those of us at lower altitudes. No teal, no dig is her preferred method right now, and she's had many successes in raised beds and containers. Wow, that's one fully stocked nursery. That's where my Swiss garden gets the seeds and plant starts that she needs to be able to turn a mediocre backyard into a living work of art, and then she transforms it again and again as the seasons change. And then, of course, there's the reward of all the labor put into my Swiss garden. From garden to table. Thinking about building a garden in rocky soil in a climate with short, mild seasons and long, cold ones? Take a look at my Swiss garden for higher altitude inspiration. Number 19. Who is the most likely to get an embarrassing tattoo? If you've followed my channel for a while, this next channel will be no stranger to you. Well, <laughs> he is sort of strange. A carpentry genius with four young men in training and a camera shy gardening young lady living off grid, sharing vast opportunities for getting food off the farm or out in nature. McGee Homestead Adventures. He believes, and they live out the principle of waste not, want not, while respecting the critters that they find in nature and in the kitchen. And some of his animals are his co-workers. If you love a good cone of squishy, swirly ice cream on a warm, browned muffin, close your eyes. You <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> Don't you long for a hot summer day now? <laughs> what do they do in summer besides animal stuff? While his wife and daughter tend the family vegetable garden, they grow a few larger food plots too. You see how tall he is? Micah McGee doesn't even try to be inspirational. Everybody already looks up to him. <laughs> Way up. It only took him 10 minutes to do that entire field on foot. <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. I'm just short and a little bitter. <laughs> McGee Homestead Adventure shows how doing things the old tried and true ways can still work. Albeit some of them may startle a person innocently happening onto the wrong video. If you like family channels where most of the time everybody's pitching in on a project or all the different places outside the grocery store to pick up food and every now and again he might throw out a Bible reference, homesteading, hunting, trapping, fishing, and building, see what you have in common with McGee Homestead Adventures. Southern charm and country living, gardening in a Swiss wonderland, Homestead Jack-of-all-trades. 
Are these your people? Wait a minute. Wasn't there a drawing for a $100 Visa gift card? I waited until five minutes after. Then I went to Comment Picker. I checked the right boxes to filter out double entries. Congratulations, Frontier Survival! Double checking at this channel, follow the rules as laid out in the official rules. And contacting. If you didn't win this one, you know there's going to be more giveaways soon. Thanks to you all for giving me something to shout about.